exclusive conversation with Sri Rimban, British Airways CEO uh, Sean Doyle uh, says airlines should uh, take uh, appropriate action in situations like this. Listen in. Indian aviation companies today and the regulator and the government is dealing with in the last four days, we've had a situation of 20 plus hoax threats, bomb threats, which have not turned out to be fortunately, uh, you know, true. Uh, but you've had them disrupt airline schedules, you've had them disrupt customer, uh, you know, travel plans. Yep. And it's a huge economic cost to, to an airline as well. Now, how do you deal with this at B? I I mean, yep. how often is this an issue for you? I think we've well established protocols, not just at BA, but internationally with airports to deal with these kind of threats. And uh, there is a kind of a, an assessment you do to understand whether it's a threat that, you know, leads to the grounding of an aircraft or, or whether it's not something that's credible. Uh, I can't really comment on Air India's situation Sorry. other than I think, you know, airlines have to take the appropriate action that they feel is the right Obviously. thing to do and I would support whatever decision they take. But is the threat assessment done at the airline level or is it done in conjunction with the it, regulator as with well as the, the airport security and the airline agencies? And the security agencies will be, you know, very much involved. And we use all of the assets that are at our disposal to make the assessments. And is there an escalation that you've seen in this sort of a threat? Um, I haven't seen something on this scale in quite a while, but um, I couldn't really comment on, you know, the specific issues here because I'm not close to it. But um, other than we've well established protocols that we enact to make sure that, you know, we stay safe. Okay, on that note, we're going to slip into a very short break. When we return, we'll talk about Israel because it has confirmed it eliminated the Hamas chief who, has, who was the mastermind behind the October 7th attacks. More on this news after the break.